this is uh, so what so when you're normally a coach now you're a head coach what uh, different things do you have to do uh, behind the scenes uh, um, for the youngsters so I guess the main difference Sorry, is just in case it doesn't pick up um, I guess the main difference is so how we kind of how we do it in our club are the head coach they tend to warm up the boxes so I'm with them I'm talking to them trying to get them in the right headspace every box is a little bit different so we treat them all a little bit different yeah um because they all react differently some need like calm and others need to get a bit hyped up but then our handing up coach will do the little bits behind the scene like get the head guard ready the bucket ready the towel ready so I think that's the main difference you're overseeing all of that yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Marcus who's handing up today he'll get all the little bits ready and I'll just spend a bit more time with the actual boxer yeah. doing the pads and just that sort of stuff I, but, I noticed on the previous show um, like with my, what I do with my, my work and my life do it is attention to detail is everything. Yeah. So I noticed in the change rooms, uh, like you just said about uh, every boxer's individual, which they absolutely are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, you were asking questions which people might think are, are silly uh, questions, but it's yeah. like, do you like the water being sprayed in your face? Yeah. That was that ADAR. So right? that, that, like... Some people don't, if you just go and spray it in their face, yeah. they might not like it. So I think for me, I get nervous when I'm in the corner because like for me it's a lot of pressure because you want your boxes to do well and like I get more nervous for them than when I box so I like to just ask them so that they know everything and I know myself that what I'm doing is right if that makes sense so for me I don't like the spray in my face because yeah. um, I have Tourette's and it sets my ticks off okay. so if I'm in the ring and someone sprays me it's like yeah, yeah. terrible so I always just ask because everyone has their little like little things so yeah, I don't yeah. like the spray but most our lads do like the yeah, spray yeah. so I just ask more for myself that so so I can like yeah. know that what I'm doing is right for them. Yeah, yeah. That, that actually, I mean, uh, for me, that makes the, the boxer or the, the person you're uh, coaching makes them feel a little bit special, doesn't it? Yeah, that's because it. Because if you're just a, a, a conveyor belt of youngsters coming along and you just do the same thing to everyone, yeah, uh, don't make you feel uh, yeah. too great, does it? No. So it's a, good, like, it's a good thing. My main questions are like, do you like to sit or stand? Do you like the gum shield out? Because some people don't like that. We've got a few lads who have braces. So they don't want their gum shield out between rounds. So I just ask and then everyone's got their little things. And I've noticed the more you do a corner with someone, um, you get used to their routine. So there's lads I don't need to ask anymore because we've yeah, done yeah. it so many times. Yeah. But yeah, when it's my, the first couple times I'm doing it, I always ask questions yeah. until we find a routine and then yeah, yeah. it what works for them works for them. Well, but yeah. yeah that's like, hopefully yeah, anyone uh, who's watching this on YouTube will see that uh, the attention <laughs> to detail behind the scenes. Yeah. It's not just a case of sending the guy out to uh, no, no. To, to box. So, that's uh, it, that's, and I think it's good insight. Especially in their first early bouts, I think it just gives them a little bit of reassurance because everything's so nerve-wracking. And um, I don't know how I function is I like to know what I'm walking into. Yeah. So I think by asking them, it just gives them that reassurance. They know what's going to happen. They know what they're walking into, and yeah. um, I don't know, just try and take as yeah. much stress off them as possible. Yeah. 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 Love yeah, it. I, do. <laughs> I love the coaching, but it's yeah. it's stressful because yeah. I just want them do to do well. Do you feel more relaxed when you're actually boxing? Yeah, I get more. So I get ner like, I, it's hard to explain. It's like I get nervous for myself when I box, but it's a different kind of nerve when it's especially when it's my little juniors going in. Like your heart goes, you just want them to do well, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, I always say I'm gonna die young of a heart attack because <laughs> of the because of the coaching, but. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, the reason why I put you out on a uh, YouTube short the other week is because uh, I find it quite inspirational, to be honest, and I hope that other people would see it and, and think, yeah, 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 yeah no, definitely, no, just uh, anything. But carry on what you're doing. Thank it's you. Great work, and uh, thanks for joining me. No worries. See you later. <laughs>